After working with a wide variety of business intelligence tools over the years, Apache Superset has become one of the more compelling options in my data stack, especially for teams that want both power and flexibility without getting locked into expensive licenses. I've been using Superset in a production environment for the past year, and in that time, it's shown itself to be a capable, if sometimes challenging, platform that rewards technical users with deep control over data visualization and dashboarding. First off, Superset is free and open source, which immediately makes it attractive for startups and enterprise teams alike. It's released under the Apache 2.0 license, so there are no hidden costs. Of course, free doesn't mean zero cost. You still need engineering effort to get it deployed and configured securely, especially if you're scaling it across a larger organization. But for teams with technical muscle, Superset offers incredible value. Unlike some proprietary platforms where pricing can get out of hand quickly, here you only pay in time and infrastructure. One of the things I appreciate most about Superset is how well it integrates with virtually any SQL speaking database. I've connected it to PostDisclose, MySQL, Google BigQuery, and Apache Druid without much hassle. Once connected, querying and visualizing data is seamless. The SQL editor is excellent. Syntax highlighting, autocomplete, and query history really speed up workflow for power users. For non-technical users, the Visual SQL Query Builder lowers the barrier by allowing them to create queries without having to write code. Now, in terms of performance, it really depends on how well your infrastructure is optimized. Superset supports caching, which definitely helps speed things up especially when dealing with larger dashboards or frequent users. That said, if you're pulling massive data sets or running particularly heavy queries, you'll need to ensure your underlying databases are tuned properly, otherwise slowdowns can creep in. Superset itself is lightweight, but the performance bottleneck will often come from your data source or network. Creating dashboards in Superset is fairly intuitive once you've gotten the hang of the layout. It has a modern React-based interface, and while the learning curve exists, it's not a deal breaker. Once I got used to the workflow, I was building dashboards with a variety of visualizations, bar charts, pie charts, heat maps, even geospatial maps with relative ease. The drag and drop interface is polished and allows a lot of flexibility in terms of layout and design. I especially like how you can add filters and interactivity to dashboards for real-time exploration. But Superset isn't without its rough edges. One of the bigger challenges is onboarding less technical users. If your team doesn't have SQL experience or a background in data visualization tools, there's going to be a learning curve. The platform assumes a certain level of data literacy, and while the UI is user-friendly, it's not quite as polished or guided as some of the big commercial BI tools like Tableau or Power BI. Also, while it supports many visualization types, the customization options can feel a bit limited compared to tools specifically built for presentation polish. If you're looking for pixel-perfect dashboards with detailed control over every visual element, you might find Superset somewhat constrained. For me, it covers 90% of the use cases out of the box, and for the rest, there's always the plugin architecture, though building and maintaining custom plugins is more work. On the collaboration front, Superset has decent capabilities. You can share dashboards, schedule email reports, and implement robust role-based access control. However, it's not built for collaborative real-time editing or inline dashboard annotations like some modern cloud-native tools. And while it's responsive to some degree, mobile usability still leaves a lot to be desired. It's clearly optimized for desktop use. Security-wise, it checks the right boxes. You can integrate with LDAP, OAF, and custom auth backends and the RBAKE system is solid for setting granular permissions. This has been crucial for deployments in environments with sensitive data or strict compliance requirements. One of the biggest advantages in my experience is Superset's scalability. We've deployed it on Kubernetes, connected it to large-scale data sources, and it hasn't flinched. It's built to grow with your data, something that's increasingly important in today's environment of real-time analytics and big data. The open source community around Superset is another huge plus. It's actively developed and well-documented. And if you run into issues or want to customize behavior, you're not on your own. Between GitHub, Slack, and community forums, there's always someone who has solved a similar problem. This pace of development means the platform is constantly improving. New features, new connectors, and better UX tweaks arrive regularly. So who's superset from my perspective? It's a great fit for data-driven teams that have some in-house technical capabilities and want a powerful, customizable, 
and cost-effective solution. It's especially strong in industries like tech, finance, healthcare, and retail. Anywhere where deep data insights and flexible infrastructure matter more than flashy presentations. In summary, Apache Superset is not for everyone. It demands some investment in setup and learning, but it pays off with serious power and freedom. If your team can handle the initial ramp up and you value open standards, database flexibility, and customization, Superset is one of the best BI platforms available today, particularly for organizations looking to scale without sacrificing control or racking up licensing fees.